Hello, this is David from Shine On Studio in Oakland, California, and I'm going to be putting together a short video series here on mixing a rock band. And today I'm going to show you a few tips and tricks on getting your session set up once it's all been recorded. So here we have the session by the new position. This is the song Don't Care. And as you can see, I'm working on mix version 2. 0.1.6. We're just going to dive right in so you can see here I've got all the tracks pretty much lined up and I've already done quite a bit of mixing on this session so I'm going to break it down at how I did the mixing for these tracks. So we're going to start down here with the drums and then we did cymbal overdubs and then we have bass, guitars, we actually did two takes of the guitars and panned one left and one right pretty much hard left on this side with one channel straight up, which is the DI, and then these hard right with one channel straight up, and then some effects. Then we have the vocals, main vocals with main vocal effects all through here, backing vocals, and then some band backing vocals with some effects. And then just after that, my stem mixes and my mix down tracks. So since we have everything right where we want it, at least to start with right now, probably going to add some more effects tracks. First thing I want to show you how to do is to recall these tracks and set up groups. So what we're going to do on the uh, keypad here, on the very, very far right of your keypad, is an enter on the numeric part of the keypad. If you're on a laptop, you don't have this, so this doesn't apply to you. And if you're going to do this on a laptop, let me show you, you go to Window, and you go to memory locations and then you would click new memory location from right here I'm gonna hit the enter key and that is gonna bring up my new memory location window now you can see I've already made one right here the way I did it was you click none track show hide and then you name it all the tracks in the mix And then you can put a comment here. I did all the tracks in the current mix and click OK. And it will create a memory location right here. Now what I want to show you after you do that is say you want to just focus on the drum tracks. So what we're going to do is take everything out except the stems and all the way up here to the drum VCA. So now you can see All I have are my drum tracks, my drum reverb, my cymbals, cymbal reverb, uh, this is a sound effect for the knock, and then the VCA, and then the stems. Now the stems relate to everything in the mix, so I'll be able to control different aspects of the mix if I want to turn them on and off, but then I can also listen to the main mix here. So just to give you guys an idea of what it sounds like, let's listen to the whole mix right now. Okay, so that gives you a good idea of what we're working with and uh, where I am currently in the mix. I want to make sure that I can recall this visual every time. Now I'm using two monitors, so let me bring this screen over so that you guys can see this. Now we can jump back and forth between the two screens. And you can see here that this is all the drum tracks and the comp pieces that we've done with them. I'm going to hit the enter key again over on the far right on the numeric keypad, and this time I'm just going to call this drum tracks plus stems. Click none, drum tracks only. Click OK. Now, if I bring up this window, now I can jump back and forth between these two. I can click the main mix tracks, and you'll see it brings back all my tracks that are in the session. And now I can click just the drum tracks. And now I'm just looking at the drum tracks. So it'll slim down my 
edit window and my mix window so that I can easily and quickly jump back and forth between mixing and editing. So let's go back to the main mix. And now let's hide all the drum tracks. Let's have just the bass and guitar tracks. So we'll take all the vocals out. And so now we have the bass guitar tracks, all my guitar tracks and effects, and the stems. So on this window now, that's all we're seeing here. Let's hit the enter key on the numeric keypad one more time. And we'll call this bass plus guitar plus stems. And click none. Now we have these tracks. We can quickly jump to just the drum tracks, or we can quickly jump to everything in the mix. So this is just a quick and easy way to navigate your Pro Tools session so that you can focus on what it is that you want to see and what it is that you want to work on so you don't have to keep scrolling up and down, moving around within the session. If you got a big session, this just makes it really easy to quickly and easily focus on certain tracks. You can do this with any tracks. You could do it with just the, the bass drums, just the cymbal tracks, just your vocals. In fact, I'm probably going to set those up so the next video will be focusing on the drums. Thanks for watching.